Hello everybody, today I'm going to give you five different tips on how to start learning British accent. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Before we start with the tips, I'm going to give you a quick definition on the accent that I personally use. And there are a lot of accents all around the UK. You can come across a Scouse accent, Liverpool accent, but the accent or the dialect that I teach with is RP, which stands for Received Pronunciation. This dialect or accent is mainly taught for foreigners, and besides that, it's called Standard English. It is associated with high education and noble class. Apart from that, I personally like this accent because it's clear, precise, and it is easily understood by my student. Tip number one, you need to get rid of your American accent. I know most of you learn English through American films and American TV shows, since the American culture has taken over the entertainment industry. So, it's essential to get rid of your American accent in order for people to suddenly think, oh, he sounds British. If you want to do that, follow my next tip, which is tip number two. In American accent, they always tend to pronounce the letter R, and that's quite different with the British accent. The letter R has a lot of sounds you need to learn each one of them. For example, this word is pronounced car, car. And that's very different from American accent and they tend to pronounce it like car, car. You need to get rid of your American accent. <laughs> and that takes us to the tip number three. Watch for the letter T, and by that I mean always try to pronounce the letter T. And that's quite opposite with the American accent, they don't pronounce the T, they tend to pronounce T like a D, like the word better, better, like this, but in a British accent they pronounce it better, better, or better. And that takes us to the glottal T. Glottal T is a sound where you suddenly stop in the middle of the word or at the end of the word. Let's take an example to illustrate it. Uh, the word but, instead of saying but, you can say but. This usually happens when you speak very fast. For example, I really like doing the washing up, but I hate cooking. But I hate cooking. Personally, I believe a glottal T is a very high uh, level of a British accent. We can say it's like an advanced level of British accent. If you want to use it, you can use it, but my tip for you is don't overdo it. And that brings us to tip number four. Did you know that 70% of English pronunciation has the schwa sound? So it's a very important sound to learn if you want to sound like a British person. My last tip for you is to start recording yourself. See if you uh, sound a bit British, if you start to sound like a British person speaking, listen to your records, uh, make sure that you keep on track of your progress, compare yourself to your favorite role model, and by that I mean a person who you really like their accent, this is uh, regarding any accent of that matter, but you need to imitate them, you need to sound like them, maybe uh, you can uh, listen to your records and decide do you sound like that person or not. Personally speaking, um, I have tried this uh, method and it really works. That's about it for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you can get videos like this and tell me in the comment box which accent do you use and which one do you want to learn. See you in my next video, goodbye.